and carry it through the woods. And then other stuff happens. Where were we with this question? <laughs> Is that based on a true story? Oh, the musical, yeah. I feel sorry for the guy, though, Ryan, who's playing the lead in it. I think he's good. Yeah. He is good, but he's got to do that like 18 times a day. He's got matinees on Saturday. I only had to do that shit once. <laughs> <laughs> this poor fucker, die, can't you die? With blood being spattered. He's got like a real thousand-yard stare at this actor. He's like, wow, I'm so glad that I said yes to this. <laughs> so, you're busy people. Let's do three more questions, and I'll let you get out of here. Yeah. Who's the actor you enjoy most working with? The actor I enjoy most working with. Who's still alive or what? Or just out, out of all. I don't know. I'm not done yet. <laughs> um, so far. So far? Jeez, I don't know. I mean, they're, actors are just weird. They're a weird breed. <laughs> Jennifer Jason Lee was pretty impressive from Hudsucker Proxy because she, I knew she would never blow her lines ever. It was very, it was very nerve-wracking working with her. Because two, the Coen brothers like to rehearse, so they rehearsed for two weeks for the Coen brother for the, for the Hudsucker proxy, and Kim Robbins was like, uh, 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 yeah, what's my line? Uh, 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 uh. And Jennifer Jason Lee already knew her lines, and then if you see the movie, she has like thousands of lines of dialogue. So I went, okay, she's crazy, <laughs> and I'm scared. So people like that are I'm very impressed with who are so professional that they are infallible. Almost. I don't like that. I need people who are fallible all around me, like Ted Raimi. I put him in every movie so that I look like a better actor. Uh, yes, sir. Do you have any good memories of Julius Carey? Good memories of Julius Carey, our friend who just passed on from Briscoe. Yes, sir. Sidekick Lord Bowler in Briscoe just passed on. Yeah, he was like, like a real normal guy. Well, he went to Catholic school in Chicago. So there were some kids who came to visit our set one time. This guy could do everything better than I could. He could. His handwriting, you could see the invisible line under everything. And I'm like, man, you so went to Catholic school. But some, some kids went to visit the set, and you could see Julius Carey. You could see every word, every letter in every word. And mine was like a slash. And people were like, no, sign it. That is my signature. That? That's not your name. That is my name. We well, get out of here, kid. And he could ride a horse really well. He could do anything pretty well, and that's why he's dead. <laughs> I'm just saying, it just seems like that, doesn't it? We have friends who are really talented. Oh, you're dead. And friends who are jerks, who live to be 98 years old. You'll live forever. So he was a great guy. He was, he was uh, a really treat to work with, because he was like a... not a dick. <laughs> Walk in my shoes for a while, pal. You'll get the idea. All right. Anyway, let me just end on that happy note. And I just want to say, I, want to, I appreciate you supporting this theater because you can't see alternative, jerky, weird, loser cinema except for, like, here. You know, so see all of those sequels. But, you know, if you want to see new stuff, you gotta, you got to pay for it. And places like this are the only places that do it. So I want to thank you for supporting the Landmark Chain because they really kind of care that, they almost care that you're here tonight. <laughs> and I do too. I love you all. So, all right, thank you very much. Thank you very much.